Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's me, NYSC Einstein from the Flow of the New York Stock Exchange inside Vershtop. Giddy up, the end of the quarter, the end of the month. The all-time record rally we have ever, ever seen. Dow Jones Industrial Average closing at 20, 22,405, up 23 points. Russell up two, Spiders up 10, okay? Crude up a little bit. NASDAQ, all-time record high. S&P, all-time record high. Transports, all-time record high. Ladies and gentlemen, stop the madness! Absolutely insane. This market is on fire. It doesn't stop. When the markets are up at these levels, you don't need to mark up a market to close a quarter at all-time high. This is money being put to work. I don't even feel like it's a short cover. We are inching higher, inching higher every day. Sector across the board, across the sectors, across everything. We've got a lot looming. We ended the month and we ended the quarter in a solid way. Virtually double-digit gains in the tech sector. We saw a great new tech stock, Roku, come out yesterday, sort of reinforce that feeling that this is really a positive sector to be involved in. Transports, all-time high, across the board, forget about it. Cat Tractor and Boeing contributed to 1,000 points of the rally over the last quarter. That's huge, okay? Huge percentage growth. It happened over a, maybe a couple of week period of time but massive numbers on CAT and Boeing, which contributed to huge in the Dow. Okay, so this market, you know what? I actually have a little tax reform on the table. It's hard to really understand and it's hard to digest, but the net net at the end of the day, who is it going to benefit? I'm not clear. The Dems say the rich, the Republicans say middle class. It's really not clear to me who's gonna benefit from it, but the fact is it's out of the closet, out on the table. That's what seems to be important. Interest rate raise on the table for December, selling into strength. Unwinding the balance sheet, selling into strength. All these things seem to be data-driven decisions that are coming out while the market is on fire and the market can absorb it in absolutely every way as it's shown us. This market tells you what it thinks of the economy, what it thinks of where to put your money, and it's clear the money needs to be put in this market in the U.S., this mar this, whether it's in transports, whether it's in, in, in Caterpillar and or Boeing, whether it's in Amazon, Facebook, or Apple, money is being put to work in a big way. All these stocks are reaching record highs. The Russell, small cap, mid cap, large cap, across the board, record highs. The S&P 500, record highs. The Dow Jones Industrial Average, record highs. What does that tell you? This is real money. This is nothing fake about this. This is the end of third quarter, massive rally close on a Friday in September. Coming in at the end of the year, those who are in the market are making money. Those who are out of the market are going to have to get involved, and that's going to continue to fuel this market. No negative news. That has been thrown on the table, whether it's out of Washington, out of North Korea, out of tech or whatnot, during those little blips last week where we saw things sell off on Facebook and then Apple, buy the rumors, sell the new stuff. Reverse, reverse, reverse. This market's on fire. Get on this train. It is bound for glory. It's Friday, end of the third quarter, and it's Yum Kipper. I'm going to go to synagogue. I'll pray for all of you people as well as for myself. I love you all. I'm YSC Einstein from the floor of the New York Stock Exchange inside First Top. Giddy up. I'm out of here. Later.